Hello guys, so today I would like to show you the step-by-step -step process of updating a firmware on the RT4 radio tone phone. And I was pulling my hair out because I was trying to did that on the virtual machine, but I was not lucky enough to make it working and now I've got a Windows computer so we can play. So first of all we need a WinRAR application just for extracting the driver and the firmware itself. The first thing that's most important is that little file which is a driver for the preloader which means a little bit of device and the application on the phone itself to that will allow the hardware to download the the firmware and we have to install that so let's go I'm 32 bits so I'm going to run that one and we do not have a trusted driver we are going to okay and we've got installed successfully and it's called a preloader I'm going to hit that it was installed properly and we are going to shut down our phone okay which is very important because we would like to have the access to the preloader okay it looks like it was off i'm going to plug the usb and we are going to see if the preloader is installed correctly not that way we got our beep As you can see we've got our preloader and it's trying to search the Windows update file and I think we, we will need to install that manual that's what I think I'll give it a try oh, it looks like it's installing the problem is it's it's being available on the system very short time and if it's unable to install in that short period of time the phone is going let's give it a try we got our blip okay, I'm going to check the device manager Okay, we are going to install that manually, which is not a problem. Okay, we're going to go to device manager. We're going to, I believe it was over here, and we're going to add the legacy hardware. We're going to, I have to install the hardware, I will manually send. Okay, that open option is okay. I'm going to show all the device. Okay, I'm going to use the hard disk. Okay, I'm going to browse. We're going to our desktop. We are going to use our Vcom driver over there. Okay, Windows 7. And let's try Windows 7 32 bits. Okay, okay, and I'm going to install that VCOM driver. Next. Okay. It's installing. Just pause for a second. It's still installing, uh, it looks like it's working. Okay, we got the code, but that's not a problem because we're going to unplug this and connect again. Okay, so for a short period of time we should be able to, to 
upgrade. Okay, so let's go to the Radio Town firmware. I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to go to the update. We're going to open the SP flash tool. We're going to run that execute file. Okay. By the way, I'm not sure if we should if we should run this as administrator just to make sure we're good i'm going to run that as administrator like that just to be safe okay so we are going to open our download agent and we're going over here we're going to this is our the spa flash tool and we are going to select the all-in-one download agent okay the scatter loading file we're going to browse we are going to go upward on that folder and android scatter and we've got a beautiful list of things here is a very important thing we've got a download only and we would like to go to the firmware upgrade. I'm going hit the download. And we are going to plug our Android, making sure it's off. And if it's off, our preloader should start acting. If everything is okay. And as you can see, our firmware is being upgraded. So it wasn't that scary. The most scary part is to make sure that we are going to 100% without any errors. Okay, so I'm going to stop recording and I will continue when we are almost finished. So as you can see, we are almost done. We are 96 percent. We're going to see what will happen. So we are almost done. And yes, we've got a very nice checkbox. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to close that. I'm going to close everything. I'm going to unplug and let's try to power it on like that. If it won't power on, oh yes, it's powering on. So the first boot up process will take a very long time. So I will have to wait it like that. I will leave it to make the Android extract itself. Okay, so the Android has been boot up and we are good to go. As you can see, we've got some application pre-install and I believe everything I've got would be lost. And yes, of course, everything was erased. So my Zelo account Let's see what kind of Android do we have. 6.0, so nothing's changed over here. And that's how it looks like. That's how it looks like. That's how to update the firmware on the RT4 phone. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.